Sherrod is a global nickel company now. We have operations in Madagascar, Cuba, and Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. And we also have a uh, energy business in Cuba where we produce uh, both oil and uh, electricity generation for the Cuban domestic market. Sustainability commitment is really fundamental to what we do. We don't view it as something mining companies have to do on the side. We really view it as core to, uh, to our strategic success. Looking at any new opportunities, sustainability issues are right up front in terms of things you need to get your mind around quickly. As you're looking at a new jurisdiction, you need to look at whether it can build a relationship with the host government, whether you can add value and demonstrate your value to the local communities, whether you can handle the various environmental issues, uh, social issues. Those are all critical factors for success in any large-scale mining project. The Embattery Project is located in Madagascar. It's a developing country, and it's also a biodiversity hotspot in the world. And a biodiversity hotspot is an area on the globe that is representative of a unique or diverse or pristine area where biodiversity thrives. Sherrod's plan when they approached this project was to ensure that they undertook an extensive environmental and social impact assessment. Companies themselves don't undertake that impact assessment. They retain world-class consultants to assist them in doing that. Lenders like EDC need to ensure that the impact assessment was prepared to meet international standards and criteria. And they retain a separate independent consultant or independent engineers they're often referred to to do the review and the monitoring. They are not working for the project. They are reporting to the lenders and they are coming back to the lenders and saying, this is how the project is performing against the criteria that we put in place. Cam was uh, selected as the independent engineer to monitor the project, review it, conduct the due diligence reviews for the purpose of assuring that the project conforms to the standards that the lenders in particular have set up for the project. We very early on established biodiversity offsets in various programs to engage with the local community and local stakeholders in order to demonstrate, not just talk about, but actually visibly demonstrate the value that we could bring uh, to the local community. So we built schools, we built training centers, we invested a lot in developing local populations and, and the local workforce. We uh, spent a lot of time on uh, how we could ensure that the environmental impact of, of a mining operation in a, in a unique environment like that would not be detrimental and that we could maintain a strong environmental footprint despite the challenges of a place like Madagascar. When the independent advisor for the lenders goes to the project and when we go to the project ourselves, the monitoring is, is more than what people might think it is. They are going out with the field staff that are collecting and, and doing the fisheries work or tracking the lemurs or characterizing critical areas of habitat where significant orchid species exist. They're walking through the woods, they're going to where the water outfalls are, they're seeing all those aspects. And that's critically important to understand how everything is being implemented. The EDC clearly is one of the lenders that has had a very keen interest in the progress made in the development of the biodiversity management programs. We go down to the site regularly, EDC has had uh, individuals have gone onto the site with us, experts that have reviewed uh, the programs as we've reviewed them. And they give us actually uh, some guidance in terms of what their expectations are. We need to be able to demonstrate the value of it, not just to our investors and our partners and our shareholders, but to our local uh, communities and, the, and, the, and the, the region in which we operate and to our employees. Any 30-year operation in a, in, a, in a place like Madagascar, unless it is delivering value and positive benefit to all of those stakeholders, uh, it, success isn't possible. So we've never seen them as, as, as competing objectives, but really uh, common strategic objectives.